But uses like that for the video disc are still a long way in the future. Because the computer can store and manipulate such vast amounts of information, we're only now beginning to discover ways to use it. Jim Neville reports. Thank you very much. When you're ill in hospital, you need good, wholesome food, and it's important that you have a choice. A system of menu cards has helped in many hospitals where you mark the card with the food you want. But you still have to order up to 24 hours in advance, and by then you mightn't be feeling so good, or you might have even been discharged. And that's meant a wastage of up to 20% of the food in some hospitals. Now, I ordered my lunch this morning, and this omelette was cooked in the kitchens just six minutes ago. The process has, of course, been computerised. Of course, the computer has nothing to do with the actual cooking, but it greatly speeds up the counting of the dishes on the 500 menu cards. The patients benefit, and so do the chefs, who now know the precise quantities to be cooked. The computer the catering team chose can be bought in any high street computer shop, and it's small enough to fit on an office desk. For the operator, the system couldn't be easier to use. Getting the information into the computer is also easy. An optical card reader scans each card and detects the mark that the patient has made opposite his choice. But the computer can do more than just gather information about the number of dishes and meals. It can help the catering manager plan and cost the menus. Or, if it's given the exact recipe of each dish, even down to the last pinch of salt, it will print out the shopping list the chef needs to take to the stores. Dish recipe code. So let's have an MC012, which happens to be the beef goulash. What's more, if the computer's programmed with the price of each commodity, it can combine that with the shopping list and tell the catering manager the total cost of the day's meals, or the cost per patient, or indeed the total cost of any of the ingredients used in the kitchen that week. And on the printer, out comes an analysis of how much that dish is going to cost. The day-to-day -day running of the catering office is also greatly assisted by the computer. It's available to any of the staff who need it, and the information it can give them is only limited by the ingenuity of the programs they feed it. What started as a simple aid to reading menu cards has proved to be far more valuable because of its ability to process and retrieve information. What the computer has also proved are that sudden chips are no longer the order of the day because we know from the printout exactly how many portions of chips are needed on each of the 30 wards. We can divide them into groups of five and cook the chips in batches, exactly the right amount just before they're needed. The key to the whole operation is this timetable. It's almost military in its precision and it's adhered to rigorously. 12.58 is the time the next lot of things are due to leave for the wards. hospital they've had the computer system running for just two years and it's paid for itself over and over again. It's now being installed at hospitals all over the country and that means savings of hundreds of thousands of pounds of taxpayers money every year.